Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Your people have come from near. The Lord is showing me a vision and in this vision I'm seeing fire upon the legs of people. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Fire upon the legs of people. And the Lord is telling me he's giving people speed. 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 Is It's giving people speed. Speed. That the powers that held you in one position are giving up speed. 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 We're going to sit down shortly. Let me just flow. I'm seeing at least 20 people who will begin to prophesy now as I speak. The power of the Spirit is a strange grace. Utterances will come from your inner man. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus that prophetic spirit. There are words from the bowels of the Spirit that He's releasing upon men and women. In the name of Jesus, let that anointing find the people. Utterances from the Spirit. 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 This is the place of encounter. Tonight, this is the place of surrender. This is the place where my life is changed. Do to me what you want. We're going to sit down shortly. I'm just responding as the Holy Spirit is granting me grace. I still see that prophetic grace again. I see it again. Because what many of us are prophesying is our breakthrough, your very breakthrough. You are using your lips to speak. In the name of Jesus, I declare. In the name of Jesus, I declare. Let that grace find men and women right now. Let that grace find men and women right now. Let that grace find men and women right now. Let that grace sweep across this auditorium. Let that grace find men and women right now. Prophesy. I prophesied as I was commanded. Prophesy. Prophesy.
prophesy, Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. 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 Tonight is going to be an awesome encounter. We're soon going to sit down. But the Lord is showing me like a rope that is tied upon the waist of many people. I'm wondering what's this for? And the Lord is telling me that this is the root cause of many recurrent sicknesses many recurrent sicknesses and right now the healing power of god is touching those people right now the healing power of god is touching those people right now touching those people right now touching those people right now, people right now. i'm seeing people being healed of pains that have to do with the abdominal region abdominal region lord in the name of jesus thank you thank you thank you already for what you are doing thank you already for what you are doing thank you already for what you are doing tonight we hand over this service let it be an extraordinary encounter your people have made sacrifices to be here lord we thank you for your visitation in the name of jesus christ god bless you please be seated i welcome you to our miracle service for the month of july blessed be the name of the lord it's my joy to be back home it's been a very very hectic week hallelujah praise the lord i honor everyone who has been able to make it for this miracle service especially for those following online the lord will visit you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing flashes of light and every time i see this i know that it's a sign of angelic presence and this is what i continue to see shabakato sikata people are receiving ministrations of angels as i'm speaking now they're just walking across inside outside just walking silently i'm seeing shadows but these shadows are lights that's what i'm seeing i don't know exactly what they are doing but i know that i see this operation moving lord let nothing hinder the operation of the angelic it's called a miracle service lord begin to visit everyone one by one one by one one by one one by one i'm seeing i'm seeing a hand entering into the body of someone literally and drawing out something i don't know what it is it looks like um i don't know how to describe what i'm seeing now but in the name of jesus this is happening to someone right now this is happening to someone right now. And someone at overflow three. Someone at overflow three. I'm saying there is a mighty deliverance happening to someone at overflow three. The power of God, like light, is just coming upon you coming upon you and setting you free coming upon you and setting you free let's be sensitive tonight let's be very sensitive tonight something is happening here right here something is happening right here i see a strange angelic activity something is happening here like an impartation that is happening to someone is drinking of the wine of the spirit an impartation that is happening to someone oh 
Shalakatu sede brehati ketu siya daba. Kala brande seketi bradishki de diada. Sada bagati kete beli dia. Shalakatu subriata das. Karatu siya daba la daba. Let's just let the Lord do what He's doing. The Lord has not left this place. I'm still seeing rings of fire just going round this road. Just going round this road. Just going round this road. That's what I'm seeing. Rings of fire. Some of it is an impartation of a grace and an anointing. A grace and anointing. A grace and anointing. That's why you came. God sent you to come and receive something. He sent you to come and receive something. And He's releasing that grace upon you. Shifting your ministry to another dimension. Shifting your ministry to another dimension. Shabarakato Sabakata. Kante Salakoto Shekete Barakat. Let's just allow God do what he's doing. I don't know what it is about this place. But there are two men of God here. I'm seeing the grace for prophetic revelation. Prophetic revelation of scriptures. Receive it is coming on two people here. Prophetic revelation, accurate insight. Shalakato sabaro deshikata. It's not by might. It is not by power, it's by the Holy Spirit. It's by my spirit. God wants to do a thorough work tonight, and please, I want us to cooperate with you. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord is leading me to stand here. I'm standing in this room, just right here. The angel of the Lord is leading me to stand here. I'm standing here and I'm seeing fire falling. Fire falling. Fire falling. Let it fall, oh God. Stretch your mighty hand. Oh great one of Zion. the Lord is speaking to someone here he's saying the reproach that your family went through from February till June I'm taking away that reproach now of course everybody will receive but this is for a specific person from February till June was a terrible month for your family but the Lord is saying I'm taking away that reproach right now I'm taking away that reproach right now I'm seeing a man of God here your ministry is not growing at all you've done all you know to do but I'm seeing something coming like a leather bag and it's just coming on you and the Lord is saying it's a mantle that is shifting your ministry to a new dimension Shalakato 
The word of God is upon that person. The Lord is showing me a businessman. The last three years have been times of intense backwardness and sorrow for you in business. You are a very diligent person. You have searched and searched to know why this thing has not been working. But the Spirit of the Lord is saying He's rising upon you and He's moving you in two months. I see two months. Two months. He's pushing you to a strange dimension of results. Two months. In two months, a strange testimony is coming. Please begin to pray in the spirit. Please begin to pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. The first seven rows in overflow one. First seven rows overflow one. I'm seeing a strange angelic activity happening there. First seven rows overflow one. The anointing of the spirit is sweeping. If you belong to the first seven rows of overflow one, I'm seeing a very strange impartation impartation happening to someone there first seven rows overflow one father this is why you brought us to encounter something that will work someone outside is receiving the baptism of the holy spirit you have desired it the baptism of the holy spirit with evidence of praying in tongues in fact not just someone outside i'm seeing this happening to people right now people are receiving the baptism of the spirit the baptism of the spirit those who have desired it for a while i'm seeing that anointing fall on people and people are receiving the baptism of the holy spirit and praying in other tongues praying in other tongues lord we give you praise we give you all the honor please be seated if you can once again i welcome you please be very sensitive whether or not you are an usher if someone is under the anointing close to you just just help the person i welcome you once again to a july miracle service I just want to acknowledge two people very quickly. Will I call it overflow four now? The overflow that extends to the roadside. There is one person there, the call of God is upon you. And as I'm speaking now, an anointing is coming on that person. The people, not overflow three, not overflow two, but towards the roadside. There is an anointing the lord is saying by this anointing i am confirming the call that i have for you thank you jesus hallelujah we're honored to have a number of people people have come from far i have been very humbled by the number of people following very closely the deliverance series it only tells me that many people have been dying in silence and suffering secretly and now that God is granting this opportunity um, we thank him for it it's truly a privilege um, we have a few people from HICC Lagos um, Pastor Omo Bowale God bless you honored to have you thank you 
she's the wife of one of the pastors adorable adorable woman of god they treated me so well i didn't want to come back home when i was there and then miss bonale god bless you thank you let's honor her thank you thank you god bless you please be seated we honor you from hicc in lagos and then i want to introduce someone um a very great man of god all the way from the united states of america hallelujah please help me bless and honor pastor felix bamirim god bless you please come sir please come let's honor him as he comes mighty mighty man of god hallelujah praise the lord god bless you sir i'll just give him a minute or two to just um just say hi and um we had an amazing time with him in abuja and um i plan to revenge this is a revenge mission for what happened god bless you wow praise the lord hallelujah i am so honored to be here um we have been following this ministry uh, the servant of god apostle selman i do not miss colonia unless there is a very very and it must be a very very important thing and the united states is actually ready for you sir i can testify uh the doors are opening and the the ground is ready uh, and I have shared with you personally what happened and the, the ground is ready for you the nations are opening to you you have blessed my life personally you have blessed my friend's life Pastor Shola Babalala I'm sure he's hearing right now in Chicago, Illinois so thank you so much for being a blessing to the world Amen. God bless you I love you sir thank you amazing man of God hallelujah praise the Lord praise the lord every other person here you are welcome this is koinonia and um everything you have heard get ready to experience it right now praise the lord you won't believe what the holy spirit told me while i just walked there you notice i just rushed and i came back i had something to share but the holy spirit just spoke to me that i should just sing a song we should just raise a song and that's it so we're just going to walk you know let me tell you something when you when you learn to walk with the holy spirit your life will be a wonder sometimes we are too rigid and careless and proud and we put our ego on the line and don't let him find the right of way don't forget that he's the one who is the lord of hosts are we together so we're going to sing i don't know what song now um what song david dam come just sing any song that god puts in your spirit get the mic someone give him the mic just as you sing that song whatever it is help that person that song is the message listen carefully while the song is going on there is an anointing and then i'll just begin to minister so you can sit sit down sit down sit down you don't have to stand sit down sit down sit down you're not just ministering there is grace upon you in the name of jesus christ you will sing and you will sing like a mistral and as you sing that song will enter the spirits of people and there are certain levels of spiritual knowledge that doesn't have to be taught there are times that you can be still to know you don't need to hear anything i want you to be sensitive to the new dimensions that god is introducing us to be very sensitive he's not just the god of the mountains he's also god of the valleys he can decide to begin to operate with new spiritual formulas your assignment is to be sensitive i'm telling you it's like electricity this is this is the only way to describe it and it's just moving from inside outside and this the same way electricity powers a fire electricity creates several things that's what will begin to happen tonight it's a night of deliverance. It's a night of impartation. Go ahead. You 
you just be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is doing? Go ahead. saying I want you to know me more that's what the Holy Spirit is saying I want to reveal my presence to you I want to reveal my glory to you the Holy Spirit is ministering to us I want you to know me more you have known other things but it's time to know me the Holy Spirit is calling us into a deeper level of knowledge I want you to know me more I want you to know me more that's what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me to say, I want you to know me more. Man of God, woman of God, prophet of God, apostle of God, I want you to know me more. I'm calling you to a deeper level, a deeper level, a level beyond religion, 
a level beyond religion. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. I want to show you my presence. I want to show you my glory. I want to show you my presence. I want to show you my glory. The Holy Spirit is a person that can be known. The Holy Spirit is not just a mystery. The knowledge of Him is the victory of the saints. He is called the Helper. He says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. He said, from whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. And he sent us his spirit as the helper. The challenge is many people never pay attention. It takes time to know him. It takes time to understand him. It takes time to walk in his presence. But that time is worth it. Hallelujah. It's restoring your prayer life. It's restoring your prayer life. It's putting goals upon your prayer life. The Lord, I see the spirit of prayer and supplication. He's restoring your prayer life. He's restoring your prayer life. You need it in this season. With this song, He's restoring your prayer life. He's restoring your prayer life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's restoring your prayer life. God is giving people grace for prayer. Taking away spiritual laziness. Taking away the excuses that have caused your altar to become barren of fire. He's planting a new fire. Without prayer, revival cannot come. Without prayer, revival cannot come. The Spirit of God in this miracle service is reigniting your prayer. You are not a believer if you don't pray. You are not part of his army if you don't pray. The grace to pray. The grace to pray. We are at the threshold of a new revival that is coming. And there must be a reintroduction of a fresh dimension of the spirit of prayer. We have seen measures, we have seen faces, but in this season, a fresh dimension. The devil has cheated many people and we go to the place of prayer and just waste our time and we really don't pray. But in the name of Jesus, restoration of that grace for prayer. Restoration of that grace for prayer. Restoration. Restoration of the grace for prayer. He will step in to set the captives free. God. You ain't say you ain't, you ain't 
ushers and see the grace because of the power and the devil. I see an anointing. Tonight is a very special night in the spirit. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the sun.
sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. I want you to really be angry tonight and insist that something must be open in your life. At the count of three, you will arise tonight as the God of Jeshua. The one that arrives, he rides upon the wings of the sea. Listen, as you shout that name, it's not a ritual. All I see in this room now is just fire. And I know that the Lord is going to descend with a shout like the warrior that he is. Are we together now? Whether you are in the main auditorium, overflow one, two, three, four by the road, following online, I want you with the simplicity of your childlike faith to shout that name, Jesus. And that fire will come upon you. Or just must have your mouth. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic party and I decree and declare it's time to challenge and confront the gates of darkness. It's time for the sons of Jacob to possess their possessions. It's time for families to be stopped. Therefore, Lord, as we lift up this shout to hear in the spirit, I pray in the name of Jesus that every power and every source responsible for the retrogression in anyone's life and destiny, it's time for it to be good. Are you ready now? One, two, three. I command that spirit. I command that devil. Bring them out. Shako, Sato, Shabarikata. That shout. I dismantle gates. I cause yokes and ordinances. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. Please bring them out quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing the spirit of delay. This delay is a wicked spirit. It can tie a life and can tie a destiny. Lift your hands. I see that fire locating a group of people. Lord, at the count of three, anyone here under the influence of delay, any family here at the count of three, may that spirit leave you. One, two, three. I just delay now. I just delay now. I just delay now. Shall not the second take the contact. I just delay now. I just delay now, my God. I just delay now. I just delay now. I just delay now. I just delay now. Says for your shame you shall receive double. The Lord is ministering very powerfully. I'm still praying over delay. Listen very carefully. I'm still praying over delay. Many of you do not even know that currently is delay in your ministry, in your life. Any dimension you should have entered but have not entered is delay. I say it again. I stretch my hands by this anointing in the name of Jesus. Let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now. Let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now. Let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now. It says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest I want to pray I don't know what keys results from our lives there are 
are many well-meaning believers. There are many well-meaning individuals. You have hands, but you can't eat. You, there is a song we used to sing growing up. It says some have food but cannot eat. Some can eat but have no food. This, this is the category I want to address now. You have capacity but no results. Gifted but not rewarded. Gifted but not blessed. Anointed but no one is placing a demand on your grace. Shalakatos. Shalakatos. Ma shalakatos kete 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 Ente rokas kobara hasene kete balakata. Shkabara to zanda takato shabia. E preke to zata. Makatos kabara katos. Ente sete teze keta. Japaru kasabaya kata. Ente koto sharakata. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare whatever has hindered your productivity, may the fire of the Holy Ghost separate you and that spirit now. Separate you and that spirit now. There's a category of people God is ministering to me right now. Just, just walk with me. You always do the wrong things. There is a spirit that makes you do the wrong things. The wrong business. The wrong relationship. The wrong friends. You don't know why everything in your life, when there is trouble, that's when you come anything good happening you will go away from it to evil he says he says the lord's prayer lead us not into temptation that means a man can be led into temptation and he said deliver us from evil lead us not a businessman can be led into destruction led into temptation a precious anointed lady with a great destiny can be led into temptation lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil listen one of the most treasured gifts that you must covet in your life is the ability to hear God clearly the times we live in now Guess what will punish you again and again? He said, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Here's how I quote it. If the Lord is my shepherd, then I shall not want. When you are, many of us hear demons clearly. You hear spirits clearly. You hear voices. Nonsense voices clearly. You don't need to pray to hear them. But do you know? that many of us now even our dreams have been hijacked and manipulated you don't even know whether it's god speaking now or not they come as an appearance of light but the message is not consistent with the integrity of god so you don't even know what to believe again dreams are prophetic avenues for the speakings of god to reach the saints but they can be hijacked and manipulated by the powers that be a lady can be manipulated to reject her husband a gentleman can be manipulated to reject his wife a person can be manipulated to reject his voice he is job there are many people they got jobs a spirit told them leave they thought it was god and they left it i'm seeing the lord is showing me a vision be sensitive something will happen here now and i'm seeing people in the realm of the spirit but i'm not seeing ears imagine like a man no ears this is what i'm seeing now i understand by this vision what the bible says he that hath an ear physically we are supposed to have ears but right now in the name of jesus this is not for everybody hold on i'm praying right now there is a grace that will open the hearing of people i stretch my hands lord where are they the men and women that need to hear you in this season for ministry to move forward i stretch my hands representing the hands of god and i command the hearing ears be open now Papa, look at this, please help them be open now be open now 
for business be open now for ministry be open now for your career be open now hallelujah and isaac sowed in that land he sowed in a specific there is a geography to increase it doesn't just happen everywhere there are people today if the devil wants to destroy them he will give them visa to uk they will think his breakthrough not every open door is anointed there are times the devil destroys you by opening doors it's not always closed doors there are open doors that, that are open doors towards doom he said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death mm. thou shalt show me the path of life he said for it is in your light that we see light we're going to cry for divine direction many destinies are tied down now because of divine direction or lack of it lord what is the next phase of my life you can't remain like this and just sit down what is the next season what is your blueprint lift your voice and pray show me oh god i buy into the mind of the spirit what is your communication for my ministry for my life in this season i don't want to be found where you were i want to be found where you are pray he that had an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying not what he said what he's saying what he's saying what he's saying he said the spirit speaketh expressly not the spirit spoke the spirit speaketh expressly direction okay. listen listen let me talk to us a little especially i know that a generation of young people were very proud we just believe that just because we went to school we can determine the course of our lives with intelligence now destiny is not just academics and education you must cry per time per second for revelation this ministry by the grace of god we are where we are because not just because of the ability to hear god but the ability to stay until he says move tiredness can tell you to move weariness can tell you to move he said if your presence goeth not with us don't send us from here oh god we are not going do you know it is costly to go without god it's cheaper the pain of your waiting is cheaper than the pain of knowing that you are where god is not there are men of god that started well but people encourage you and say this is how they do it in ministry when you get to this level this is the next step and you foolishly took a step a step that ate away your destiny and your progress and your blessing hallelujah it matters that we understand times and seasons and that we can wait until god says move i remember after our second crusade in this ministry the next year we we're discussing and they say where are we going i went to the lord and the lord said you are not going anywhere and i said okay we're not going anywhere ah but i thought we do it every year <clears throat> be careful the ritual of religion can destroy you god used to do it this way it doesn't mean he has to do it the same way the most important thing is let it be him doing it treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful mm. redeemer of my past and present wrong you're the holder of my future days to come nothing in this world is jesus you're the cup that will run dry 
we live our lives being in a hurry is not the same thing as speed god is a god of speed i don't know why i'm preaching this now this is part of the miracle service god is the god of speed but god is not the god of rush there is a difference between speed and rush many of us the spirit of god is speaking to someone here you need to calm down the way you are running with your life you are going to land in trouble the way you are running with ministry you will land in trouble the way you are approaching marriage the way you are approaching destiny you will land in trouble culture and the sociological um, context of our living can mount pressure on us to run ourselves to the ditch my soul wait thou upon the lord god is a god of speed but until he speaks you are on your own it's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving running but not moving and here comes a man as weak as he is but he can walk at the pace of god and more can be achieved in one month with god than 10 years alone have you not learned the excellency of walking with god he said for with god all things without god outside of god there are things that are not possible apostle my life i don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side i must make sure that i build a house now i must and god is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be lord of your life i say lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together god is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if god does not lead me i'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait gone are the days that people will say i'm i'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the bible says except the lord builds a house listen very carefully he says they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city man of god listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow i'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the bible says he gives his beloved sleep there are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. No. There are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life and say, I've been running since 2005. What have I done with my life? Absolutely nothing. 
oh come lord jesus come and direct me give me direction are we together the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong not even bread for them that are wise when a man subscribe to the direction of god your life may look controversial for a while but all that will be before you is beauty and glory then your life will become beulah and hepzibah the delight of the nations the excellency of waiting the hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait it's easy to rush it's easy to do a lot of things you will make more mistakes in your life rushing there is power in waiting are we together there is power in waiting we're going to pray for the sick now there's a lot to do tonight but listen very carefully if this message is for you then i want you to receive it from the depth of your heart you know when we come like this there are various things that the lord is doing to several people not everyone is sick not everyone is oppressed but a word can come and god says be careful there are people about to relocate now to regions they have not sought god they just assumed let me tell you something brothers and sisters there is no place on earth called greener pastures greener pastures is a spiritual location is where the voice of god for you is god is already helping someone how many nigerians smuggle their way through the desert trying to get to lands because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern appreciate and reward value that's all they have a greater propensity to discern to appreciate and to reward value you can be where you are if you are truly directed by god and he will come to you and bless you are we together now how many of you are trusting the lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer i want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now i promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of god is an opportunity to watch lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we are all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you are here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe ask you or prophesies to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman you don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it your husband got another wife creator of the universe what can you do what can you do
brothers and sisters let me tell you something i'm not trying to embarrass this precious lady i don't know you i'm just seeing you for the first time i'm not a woman so i can't pretend to say i know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and i'm asking it boldly do you believe that god can give you new fallopian tubes where are you coming from madam let me tell you there is a god that sits in heaven god is not a herbalist he's a miracle worker put your hand on your stomach look at me shout jesus as loud as you in the name of jesus father that's all right i decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes the god that doeth wonders brand new fallopian tubes i say it again brand new fallopian tubes madam allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital give jesus praise please help this woman it's an elderly woman help her help her social life. In the name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you in Jesus' name. The Lord is showing you somebody. Just, just hold on. You, will, you will sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm seeing the someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. And the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I declare to you, not only will you or your brother be healed, I decree and declare salvation comes to your family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please sing for us that song creator of the universe creator of the universe what can you do what can you do
I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing fibroid. Is that true? How long? Seven years. Fibroid. Confirmed in the hospital. That devil is going to leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have children, ma? I've not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God, Almighty God.
everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please shout it say in the name of Jesus I prophesy over the next half of this year hear the word of the Lord become for me seasons of signs and wonders lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray everyone Make sure you are praying. Praise God. Please keep praying, keep praying. Let it become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Seasons of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Say so after me in the name of Jesus. Please let me see us. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of the anointing. Required for my next level of exploits. I receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and please pray. Every dimension. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. That's the next prayer point. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto me. One more time. Everything Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare.
in the name of Jesus Christ say it again in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over my loved ones hear the word of the Lord this is your season of rising lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones please believe what you are saying prophesy I decree and declare in the name of Jesus this is your season of rising a new level of new dimension in the spirit says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might as be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory Jesus I decree and declare that my help comes from above I decree and declare that my help comes from the Lord and in this season I prophesy to my destiny a believer receive the help of God lift your voice and pray call for help
listen let me tell you this was he praying many of us here all you need is the ministry of helpers are we together now the psalmist said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills do you know why he spoke about the hills because god used the strategy of the hill to protect the people every time there was war he would lead them up the hill and if they got there there would always be victory remember elijah when it, when there was time for any contest he would say go up the hill mount camel mount zion mount this and that and so he said i will lift up my eyes to the hills but he said no 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 where comments my help he said my help the, the hill is only a strategy the hill is not my source and then he says my help cometh that means just like faith help to cometh faith cometh help cometh your help can come from other places by divination and witchcraft a man can attract a system of attention but he will pay for it listen Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man blessed is a man that finds help from God many people are suffering because there is no help life can be cheap when there is help believe me when I tell you this how much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it how much is it what is the job issue with a single signature a man's life can change but I told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default I'd like you to cry father in this season I'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny help us please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray In the name of Jesus was still praying this prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service and I want you to pray because people are receiving results we are still going to pray over the issue of help let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters you see this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God my life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all in god can step in and you have value you are package your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at butchery my god arise for me as a helper Shaka barakatosh, shaka taka 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 ta, raka taka taka shake tepe ke teke teke le barakata ta, shama sonda barakatosh ya taka ta. Help for my family, O God. We cry for your help. Pray for your business. Arise, O God, as a helper. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream, and then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen. You are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> In Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones financial help spiritual help career help help oh god Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. And he took me in the spirit of the Lord. And he took me to a valley. And the Bible says that valley was full of bones. And it says the bones were very dry. Bones don't dry up in one day. It means they have been there for a long time. We want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go. You were born and you met that problem. You have become an adult. You have met that. No, no, no. It must go. That it has stayed long does not mean it's valid. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dry bone in my life and in my family. Hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare. Let life come to you now. Lift your voice and pray. Prophesy life. Your father lost his job since 1991. Till today he has not gotten a job. Hear the word of the Lord. 
hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Oh ministry, hear the word of the Lord. Oh business, hear the word of the Lord. Oh destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there, but there was no life. He says, Son of man, prophesy again to the four winds and say, O wind, breathe upon the slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the bones, and there arose an exceeding great army. Listen, God is able, God is able to turn a man's captivity overnight. He said, Have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day? But he said as soon as zion travails we know that birth is nine months but something can happen to the rod of aaron and it can burn overnight with no root i like you to say lord let the supernatural work in my life in this season business at a supernatural rate ministry at a supernatural rate if it is the lord's doing then it must be marvelous in my eyes lift your voice and pray as soon as Zion travails, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. As soon as Zion travails, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostle said, I desired once again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Your breakthrough desired to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Your helpers desired to come to you. Have you seen a situation, Jimmy, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we're not here to waste time brothers and sisters this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom are we together he says do not be ignorant of the devices the methodologies from the word stratomai the methodology of satan there are methods he said do not let your good be evil spoken of have you seen that that's a method that i call you and satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm I just called you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just they went, please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs 
but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same is the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is God. Are we together? I remember a few years ago, I went to a house to pray for them. I was invited and I got to the house. I usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them. And I went to the house and uh, um, I just saw the man, the, the owner of the house, the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live and i sat down i was talking with the family and the man was just looking you know you know all this do do and leave my house until by the mercies of God, God began to speak to him. At the end of it, it was him that escorted me out. He said, ah, ah, you are, you are, you know, my friend, I collected my, I said, look at this man would have missed this miracle. Brothers and sisters, some of our loved ones, you know what I'm saying, are like that. Their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years. They organize a program near your house. And they say, no, 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 no. Once it is not you, it is not God. It's an error. What of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened they be anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry dear sir. no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the son arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the son arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together i want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen, a helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. 
some men came to david in a cave called adulam and they vowed that we must make you king you are seeing a man who is already weak no result ah, when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Hapa. There is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation. When you, when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship, you can't give. But if it's freely you received, it freely you will give. Are we together? Your destiny is one helper away. By the privilege of God's grace, I've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people. And overnight, they got jobs without interview. Just because I happen to know someone in a position of influence. And I say, sir, please. There is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken he's the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of God there are pastors that need the help of God you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by God to help you will stand in the rain and say I'm sent and I'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help please hear what i'm telling you do you know if you do things alone and by yourself you are not blessed even if you succeed in doing it help help that god arises for a man and say young men established within 10 years but i have chosen promise that in one month I will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it's challenging and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of God or not. I told him, I said, no, that, that is a foolish, that is a foolish concern. Are you seeing, the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list. You are now seeking whether it's the will of God, going behind. What is there to ask whether it's the will of God or not? Listen, I know that it looks like it's just a joke, but it's a serious issue. How many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help? No help. Ask the medical doctors, they will tell you. You buy a car alone. You look for food alone. You walk alone. You seek counsel by yourself. You advise yourself. No helper. You see people moving like Cain all around. Nobody to help. Nobody to advise you. Their pastor, Pastor Bolaji. Do you know sometimes Pastor Bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but God chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the Bible says according as his divine power Please listen, hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. To life, I will never be the man of God who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth. No, no. There are matters that pertain to life. There are matters that pertain to godliness. His divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occult all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said uh-huh you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw is because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he said but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you lord you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor keep praying i just want to say thank you so in my life Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. from the dead that Lord every request here before you upon this altar I ask my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart lord i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart and i will lift my voice to you in worship i will worship You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands everything represents shame and reproach in your life i cry to the god of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ i pray for every man of god represented here fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus christ every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life i send the word of god like a messenger to reproduce the garden of eden over your issue in the name of jesus christ when a man's ways pleases the lord he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him i declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise i command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you where you failed before go back again with an anointing go back with 
the grace that makes men succeed in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord visited Sarah and she called the name of her son Isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me I introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the Negev I pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way God will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy I decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory I command death to pass from over you in the name of Jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every crown can yield I command your crown to produce for you Amen. Daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a God that revealed secrets I pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it I love the way you father me this is the way you father me I love the way you father me this is the way you father me I love the way you father me this is the way you father me I love the way you father me listen I show you a fail proof secret respect his voice respect his leadership whether it is comfortable to you or not I just believe that the end is peace your mind is too small to understand the ways of God I respect him I've lost the ability to tell God no if it is the voice of God and is the direction of God so be it ancient kings never went for war until they inquired haven't prepared the army they will either use divination or prophets or priests let us know God's opinion and God will say go I have given you victory the moment he spoke there was no fear again Moses was confronted with several challenges notice how Moses will always retreat back to God all right nation of israel there is a red sea standing before us i know what many of us would have done look um i'm an intelligent man just just allow me uh let me process this now moses said all of you calm down are you calm they said okay he ran to god and said god what do i do what do i do partnership what do i do partnership remember i said if your presence would not go with me i can't go i don't want any embarrassment and he said look moses don't be afraid stretch your rod tell the people to move forward Moses has said God please uh, can you just do something can you compress a cloud to become like a road let's use that strategy how can you tell a man to go and part water it's because it has happened that's why you believe it and all of a sudden Moses went and nation of Israel let's start moving and they looked at him they said you see this idiot is back from wherever he went to he's back as stupid as always he said we should die instead of him to just say i don't have a solution he's now saying god said but there was the invisible part they didn't know the moment he stretched forth his rod signs and the lord walking with moses confirming the word with signs how about joshua 
went round Jericho and they saw it. What is the strategy of God? How do we defeat a city whose fence can sit five chariots? The whole of CGC from here to here was still not the fence of Jericho. So even if the fence turned around, it will still be another fence. It sank. And God said, let me give you the strategy. Walk around once. Every once for seven days. The seventh day, move around seven times. And he went, foolish enough, and said, guys, I've gotten the strategy. They went around. I can imagine a nation of Israel. Listen, even if you are afraid, still obey. While you are complaining, be obeying. Lord, I don't think I understand, but let your legs keep taking you to the place of obedience. Faith is not fearlessness. Faith is the resilience to obey him to the latter, regardless of what you feel. The ministry of the Spirit. Submission to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Number two, the second dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit is walking in the might, the power, and the grace of the Spirit. Walking in the might, the power, the grace of the Spirit. Where it is not your strength again. I can do all things. Philippians 4.13 Through Christ, which strengtheneth me. The word Christ here is not just the person alone. He's anointing. The ministry of the Spirit is a ministry where a man has been overshadowed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Where you begin to walk by another agency. You are the one carrying out the physical activities. But the energy, the might, the power, the wisdom, the strategy is not yours. Watch this. If I lift this keyboard or I lift this on one hand, it's understandable. You look at me and feel I should have power enough as an adult to lift that. Is that true? But when I gather these four people, no, don't, you think I'm going to do that? When I gather these four people and I hold them and you see me lift them, you are going to say I have jazz. You will attribute it to an advantage that is tied to the realm of the spirit because human beings should not do that. When you see a man use his teeth to drag a car, please be wise there are two people dragging that car when you see someone in the market square putting his head inside a hyena's mouth and he doesn't enjoy him you see people do it in the market or someone shoot an arrow or cut themselves with knife there are two people there are always two people a human and a spirit when you see an old woman say you must die there are two people talking the old woman who is the medium and the spirit speaking when you ever become alone on earth you will die it's always a ministry of two you and the spirit of God and his power and his grace if you are not conscious of that oneness and you just drag yourself I want to go and pray for the sick how many people have died of sickness because they thought it's just because the bible said it the bible said it they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed god's word said it i believe it it settles it and you go and die because of ignorance you just go and lay hands on somebody and all of a sudden carry what is upon that person and produce casualty in your life there is the dynamics of the operation of the word it starts with the holy spirit it is his power that produces the results when you speak do you speak alone or are you just an echo of the real person speaking john said i am the voice of one crying i'm not the word but i am the voice i allow that word to find expression brothers and sisters this is the secret of this ministry you see operating under open heavens the power of the spirit the might of the spirit john chapter 3 verse 1 nicodemus comes to jesus by night and then he says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god 
for no man here it is no man can do these things except god be with him except god be with him no man can become fulfilled in one year except god be with him no man can defy all of these things except god be with him your results are ordinary although you look like you are filled with the holy spirit although you are praying in tongues but you have not come into the eternal consciousness of your oneness with him two people becoming one here's a statement that is made during marriage and it was god himself that made that statement therefore what god has joined let no man put that means only god can put us under what god has joined who joined you and the holy spirit please help me so the principle is still applicable what god has joined that partnership with the holy spirit no man should be able to put asunder no charm should be able to put asunder no limitation should be able to put asunder because he was joined by god it's not an opinion of man your background notwithstanding when he supplies you power when he supplies you grace you activate possibilities in your life that cannot be done by a normal human being when he does something to your brain you will now see that four points five points is not something you should sit down and dream about it is a possibility that can happen when he anoints your hands then you now know that your hands may look ordinary but you can shake somebody and change his life forever when he anoints your words then you will know that speaking is not just about grammar there is a life that flows through it and produces results i know the smartest communicators around and they are unable to do much for the kingdom it takes more than speaking good english to drag people it takes an ability he's working in me he's working in me it's God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. No matter how frail I look, God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. God's ability is God's ability is working in me. That's what the ability of God can do. Is the ability of God that has put us in over forty-five nations of the world, not been there, never been on TV. Is an ability of the Spirit. Is the ability of the spirit that has brought his breath upon our teachings that are changing people around the world is the ability of the spirit the miracles and the signs and the wonders the ability the crowds that you see gathered here there is no man walk around this city you are not going to see one coin on your poster the one billboard that was put was taken away it's making it's made no difference because you see brothers and sisters there is a force it's called an akazo. It's a compelling power. The power of the spirit that compels men into the will of God. That's the ability that will come upon you and drag destiny help us to your life as if you are charming them. Yes. Yes. This is what God has done. Over 80% of the people who bless this ministry, I don't know them. I have never seen them with my eyes. I don't know how they got the ministry account details. Over 50% of, what am I saying? 50% of the people that bless me, I don't know them. I've never seen them. I don't know how they got my details. It's God's ability. When his power is upon your life, he will shock you. Shock you. 
they may see ordinary you ordinary you but then there is an ability of the spirit he said there is this treasure listen carefully in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of God the ability of the spirit working in us Acts chapter 19 please quickly I want us to find somewhere and begin to pray now Acts chapter 19 we are reading 11 down to 20 but we'll jump some verses Acts chapter 19 let's see what happened to a man when the power of the Holy Spirit was upon him it says and God who wrote the miracles please help me who wrote the miracles but who did the sick people see the sick people saw who Paul but who was doing the miracles in koinonia who is doing the miracles but the one you can see is Joshua Selman so you say wow this guy is powerful you are not wrong except for the fact that when you come to me I will redefine it and tell you it's true Joshua Selman is powerful but in Christ and God wrought special miracles through the hands of Paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons and the disease departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them are we together then talks about the sons of Sceva and what happened to them let's go to verse 16 it says and the man in whom the evil spirit was leapt on them and overcame them and prevailed over them do you know why because they thought it was just about talking be healed be healed when you see a man ministering by the spirit it looks so easy you can think it's so easy till you try it that's what these guys did no partnership with the holy spirit and they wanted god's result and the demoniac pounced on them 17 we're reading down to 20 and this was known to all the jews and greeks also dwelling in Ephesus and fear fell on them all and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified and many that believed came look at this look at what the power of the Holy Spirit was doing and confessed and showed their deeds 19 and many of them which use curious acts mantras and scientific books books that they use with divination those things became obsolete brought their books together and burned them before all men and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver brothers and sisters 50,000 anything is money are we together mm. 20 so mightily grew the word and prevailed so mightily grew how by the results that were communicated it takes power to produce the result that dumbfound men listen you can criticize but you cannot withdraw power no you can't withdraw it from carriers of it this thing comes upon you and it's upon you and it remains for as long as you keep working with god it will only keep multiplying i wish i had time i would have shared with you i've not even touched so much of the things that i want to share but um we'll find somewhere to stop tonight no notable achievement in life is ever done by a man alone it is always done by a man and a spirit either a demonic spirit or the spirit of the living God there is no man in his ability please hear me brothers and sisters no matter how sophisticated you are there is a limit to your ability so he empowers you and I'll tell you why he empowers you. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. When you begin to read from verse 5. Jesus was talking to them. And then they told him, they said, Will you at this time restore the nation of Israel? And he said, It is not for you to know the times and the seasons that the Father has put in his care. And then verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be what one more time one more time a witness is one who validates the claims of another are we together a witness is one who proves that the person testifying is not lying there are many things that god has said in his word and satan is saying is a lie so he empowers you to be a witness so they see a young man a young woman 
grace upon your life he has said i will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten the palmer worm has eaten and satan says it's a lie it can't happen so god says let me use somebody as a specimen he finds someone that is 10 years backward and then he tells creation watch me now and in five months he turns that person to a wonder you know how you prove a mathematical equation and you write qed not open to debate anymore i've proven it i've said it and i've done it that's what god is about to do with someone's life there are many statements that god has said but satan is saying it's a lie watch what happens to you when his power comes upon your life listen the power of the spirit does not throw people down the throwing people down is just the impact of his presence the power of the spirit lifts people to unimaginable realms unimaginable dimensions unimaginable dimensions let's look at two scriptures i saw a scripture that really 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 blessed me and i thought that we'll just look at it second second corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1 it says we then as what workers together with him like you are talking to a workforce there are times that we have the workforce meeting here in the ministry and it's just exclusive for workers so god is talking here he said we then as workers together with him say i'm a worker together with him say it again i'm a worker together with him when you are a worker with him then you will produce extraordinary results you will produce unusual results this thing i'm teaching you has no respect for gender some of you are sitting looking at me and saying can god do anything with me ah. the god of heaven that i know can turn your life around in ways that you will not imagine read from genesis to revelation he met ordinary people turn them around ordinary people turn them around ordinary jesus turn him around ordinary peter turn him around stammer moses turn him around young fearful joshua turn him around weak feminist deborah turn her into a warrior he will not suffer my foods to be moved i carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me Awesome God. I'm just a awesome and you are the awesome God. In a few minutes now, we are going to begin to pray, and you will watch him once again in action, doing wonders, changing lives in split seconds. Disease is dissolving. Watch this. In split seconds, deliverance is happening. In split seconds, impartations happening. Brothers and sisters, a man cannot bless you like that. Oh, learn this. No. But he will not suffer my food to me. For I carry his presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, awesome. I'm just a mortal man. You are the awesome. I'm just a mortal man, awesome. Listen, say in the name of Jesus, from today, I walk in the consciousness of the leadership of the holy spirit i submit to the leadership of the holy spirit i submit to his anointing i will never try to do anything without his anointing without his empowerment without the unction of the spirit together with the holy spirit 
my life becomes an awesome wonder that's right I know some of you think I'm just talking help that lady under the anointing there please I know some of you think I'm just speaking and making noise no sir we are not teaching you cunningly devised fables that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled this is what we bring the sickness in your body can leave because he is here you see that the disease in your life and all these things can leave because he is here the oppression in your life the retrogression the mountain that stands before you you have been staring at it for years can you shift back and let your senior partner stare that mountain for you and watch the way he will dissolve it your your calling it a mountain is relative to your perception step back and let the creator of the heavens and the earth the one who the mountains keep like lambs before him hallelujah let's end with this scripture daniel 11 verse 32 i have to stop here so we'll pray Daniel 11 and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries he says but the people that do know their God not their neighbor's God but the people that do know their God the first thing that should happen to them is capacity in the spirit and the second thing that happens to them is that they are graced to do exploits listen brothers and sisters this thing is not by might zechariah chapter 4 give it to us please and verse 6 it is not by might it is not by power it's by the spirit the empowerment of the spirit when you walk with the holy spirit he empowers you to represent him when you walk with the holy spirit he takes away fear from you your life no longer becomes a thing of fear this fear all around is a product of our thinking that all the results will come from us the bible says then he answered and spake unto me this is the word of the lord unto zerubbabel unto joshua selman unto koinonia saying not by might you won't build that house by might you won't build it by power no your CGPA will not change by might not by power reducing your prayer time will not change it throwing away your good friends will not change it it is by the spirit the next time people ask you how was this result by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit koinonia by the spirit his wisdom upon us by the spirit leadership by the spirit the miracles tonight by the spirit the impartation by the spirit i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk closely with him he promised me listen the holy spirit never promised me money the holy spirit never promised me fame listen carefully the holy spirit never promised me title the holy spirit never promised me good clothes the Holy Spirit never promised me crowds. The Holy Spirit never promised me ministry. But he promised to be a representation of the presence of God. And to empower me continually. The only thing he promised me is still what he is keeping. Because every other thing, the highest value a man can have on earth is to be anointed. The highest value you can possess on earth is to sustain an ability to provide solutions that are supernatural. Hmm. Yeah. Where your word becomes his word. The Holy Spirit has possessed me like a demon. Literally. Every part of me. 
every part of me when I speak is his voice when I bless is his authority when I command it is his authority speaking it is based on this consciousness that we can gather people and say come bring your pain bring your burdens bring it there are people here sick there are people here saying apostle can my life change keep watching you're about to watch the biggest drama in your life how fast situations can change because of him man of god you need him businessman businesswoman you need him you don't need bottles of minerals you don't need a bigger container you need him and his wisdom are we together now i said it last week the key to working with him is communion fellowship fellowship whatever you bring to the stage of life is the product of your secret place with him you're not going to stand here and fake relationship with him no sir no sir many people do it and disgrace themselves whatever you bring to the stage of life is an effulgence of your secret place so when i stand here when i'm preparing to go for koinonia i imagine him just waiting happily i know he's here but he's also with me and as i enter while i'm coming those who come usually a protocol person follows me and as soon as we take this turn and i see people they just see me smiling they don't know why i'm smiling when i come here and i sit down here i'm just watching people and watching the testimonies in my mind i look around and sometimes the lord keeps showing me the visions of people's issues and then i am overjoyed you see me waiting i can't wait for worship team to finish singing do you know why because i want him to speak to you when he holds this mic through my hands and he speaks to you through my voice and commands situations and circumstances then you will watch them melt away ah. you are amazing you are amazing Hello. you are amazing you are amazing. 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 From tonight you will walk some of you as you are going you will see phone calls that should not enter listen every time you see anything unusual smile back to him and say my partner at work at work Shalabakotaya, my partner at work you go back to that ministry fire on the altar my partner at work you are lying down and sleeping and a dream comes with a powerful idea my partner working while i'm sleeping somebody calls you and says sorry i i used to walk against you but now i repent someone at the backside has been compelling him are we to, are we together do you believe all that i've shared or are you just excited i can't speak how sir the holy spirit does not speak english I can't speak Yoruba. I can't speak this. No. No. Apostle, I am so weak. I am, I am like a non-entity. No problem. You are the exact candidate for partnership with him. So that at the end of it, the excellency of power may be of God and not of you. Rise up on your feet. Let's stop here. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and cry passionately and say Holy Spirit more than ever before 
more than ever before i want to walk with you lift your voice and pray change our lives anoint us anoint me anoint me empower my destiny anoint me that's your prayer tonight anoint me fresh anointing fresh fire I want to walk with you I want to walk with you doing wonders with you changing lives with you transforming destinies with you Transforming destinies. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship. Lamb of God, I worship you. Lamb of God, I worship you, Lamb of God. I worship you, Lamb of God. I worship you. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Regardless of what it has been in my life. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory. And the lifter up of my head Hello, give my donor Hello, give my donor Hello, give my donor Hello, give my Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim Madonna. Listen, there is a fresh impartation. That is coming upon your life 
an impartation is a transference of unction it's a transference of possibilities so that what was not in your life all of a sudden is activated in your life what you have no business seeing in your life steps into your life and you begin to walk in those dimensions hallelujah 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 please lift your hands we're going to be fast tonight tonight's session is an impartation please i want you to believe it i don't know how else to convince you there are things graces and dimensions that we need in our lives but we cannot access in ourselves but if we believe them if we believe them if we believe them we will see it hallelujah the first impartation god is releasing tonight and i want you to bring those people out there is a strange grace i see for speed and the lord is saying i should stretch my hands it's a dimension of the spirit it's a year of triumph god is bringing speed right now i stretch my hands let it be now inside and outside speed 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 chapo safari kata inside outside everywhere speed like fire is coming on your chest it's coming on people's chest i don't know why but it's coming on people's chest a strange mantle grace for speed an impartation of the anointing for speed it's by the spirit it's by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing 27 people climbing ladders in the spirit let it be now let it be now now the anointing of the spirit is locating those people it's a new dimension i'm seeing ascendance in the spirit people rising that's what i'm seeing rising climb that ladder is happening to you there is an energy of the spirit that is taking men to this dimension 27 people inside outside i'm seeing it happen by the spirit men rising to new levels of possibilities we may not have space to bring everybody out but we'll just gather somewhere rising 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 from one dimension one dimension one dimension Please, I want you to lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. My hands are shaking. And the Lord is telling me that he wants to do an impartation of the healing anointing. Now listen. The healing anointing. Right now, in the name of Jesus. It will come on your hands. It will come on your hands. It will come on your hands. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The ministry of healing. Not just an emotional ministry. A real dimension. Laying hands on the sick. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. And watching dramatic miracles. 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 I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings 
Your influence is all over me. Yeah. shadow of your your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings there are people here praying Lord prove to me that I'm called into the ministry the Lord is saying an anointing is coming on you now as a proof as I'm speaking you may not even know but that grace, that grace, that grace is a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. It's a token. Right now, right now, it's coming on people. A sign. A token. A sign. A token. Many ladies, many ladies are experiencing this sign. A sign. A sign of his hand upon your life he's giving you a sign beyond any shadow of doubt I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be yours strength wisdom and see mantles falling mantles falling strength wisdom coming from heaven strength wisdom coming from heaven Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass. But he stopped. Right now, I'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. It's not a general prophecy. There are exact people that this is happening to a restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. hallelujah there is a grace i feel like praying for students there is a grace for academic excellence listen it doesn't just happen believe me it's not just about what you learn there is a grace there is a, an exact grace for this lord i pray right now in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands to your people as many oh god as will please you let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. From today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of Jesus receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit
there is a grace for entrepreneurship creativity witty inventions in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing at least 43 people right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let it come on them oh God believe it let it come on them oh God let it come on them oh God in the name of Jesus let it come on them oh God in the name of Jesus let it come on them oh God in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands now 43 I'm seeing a number 43 strange ideas coming on your spirit now strange ideas creative ideas strange ideas creative ideas receive it right now I want to pray for those in ministry there is always an unction for the next dimension I don't know where you are but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards that's the instruction God is giving me in the name of Jesus Lord I'm praying right now fresh fire fresh mantle let it begin to arise now you are in ministry in this place begin to receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive it right now those in ministry help them strange fire I see strange fire rising from the feet right on top from the feet rise on top from the feet please help them in the name of Jesus can you carry the child so that he doesn't in the name of Jesus strange fire revival fire supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction hallelujah the Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that he wants to bring into intimacy with him there is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the Holy Spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people Lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to shake it take it beyond church beyond church beyond church Arado Supragadiza La Curiata. Hallelujah. Ah! I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire, literal physical fire that will not stop. You will go with it, you will wake up with it, it will continue. There is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people. An energizing of the spirit happening to people. It's a fresh fire. It's a fresh fire. Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, certificate, whatever it is that is a point of contact, whether you are inside or outside, anything you can use I want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the Lord is lifting that person to the next level I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh God right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension
hallelujah acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons i've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way i'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you lift it up you can lift your hands ready to speak now in the name that is above all names I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now let a let a grace the power of performance that makes things to work I release it right now upon that instrument. I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. Hear me. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the lord jesus christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate i change it now in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you. Listen. Everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously, I opened the door for it to continue. Everyone here in business, any kind of godly business, I stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you i bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of jesus i introduce an anointing to that family and i command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency i speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear 
hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of Jesus Christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of Jesus Christ I command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things I command right now fear go in the name of Jesus 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 every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare. May your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. And then the power of God for healing will touch people. In the name of Jesus, I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next seven days, may you hear strange testimonies from hope. Please believe me. I say it again between now and the next seven days I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer I command today become a result producer Become a result producer. Become a proof producer. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every pending issue over your life. Every pending issue. Any kind of pending issue. Right now. Issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit. And will not be resolved. Jekotos kapreakata. Jabele kete sepreketea. 
I decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now every family here that has experienced delay as a family not an individual alone shake it here. there is unction upon me the hand of god is upon me in the name of jesus i decree and declare the lord is asking me to push families forward i push you forward now by the mystery of prophecy i push you forward now i push you forward now hear me in the name of jesus christ whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven whose i am and i decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now I want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands i want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what i'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands In the name of Jesus, I pray for every brother here. The grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men. The grace and the unction that establishes men financially, ministerially, career-wise, and in purpose at the count of three. In the name of Jesus Christ, whose I am and whom I serve, I decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now upon you i command that grace there is a gentleman outside that grace is coming upon him in a mighty way take that grace right now brothers receive it now in the name of jesus christ listen it is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life help us come to support you to gain your footing in life it's not just by growing old there is a grace you don't have to pay for everything by yourself there is a grace that sends help us to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are, you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others. There are many people who are experiencing finances here, but they are not established. You are established means you can bless others without being affected. Established in wisdom. Your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child. Two more prayers and we're done tonight.
the Lord is ministering to me the Lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness 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 it doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone unproductivity is a cause is the cause of hardship the classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness in the name of Jesus I command your desert to become a fruitful vine in the name of Jesus I command your fruitful vine to become a forest I say it again in the name of Jesus I command your desert to be a fruitful vine I command your desert to be a fruitful vine in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah in one minute I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing I'm releasing my faith with you just one thing lift your voice and pray I'm releasing my faith with you please pray one minute ask the Lord and watch it happen I release my faith with you in the name of Jesus I release my faith with you ask the Lord don't say it is impossible we are talking about the God of heaven here we are talking about the spirit of the living God what you see is the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit ask what you will and it be granted unto you by the spirit of God are you praying just one thing change my life just one thing give me laughter just one thing answer my marriage just one thing give me a child just one thing settle me financially just one thing multiply your grace on my life hallelujah whatever it is that you have asked the Lord I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony listen the Bible says and whatsoever Adam called it that was the name thereof if it is called a testimony then it becomes a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ no matter how impossible it is may the God of all flesh the God of Jeshurun that rides upon the wings of the wind I pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen as you go back this night don't be careless meditate meditate on the things you have received and begin to walk conscious of it do you know many of you as a result of today's meeting you will literally start feeling the presence of the holy spirit like a presence walking literally literally i mean what i'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of god leading you in the name of jesus i activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit i program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave it physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like Benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit 
you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your plates and you will carry strange fire in the name of Jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you I'm sorry I'm the one who stole your laptop I'm sorry I'm the one who took this from you I'm sorry because of the presence of God listen by this new dimension of encounter I command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blasts untouchable by arm robbers in the name of Jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your God your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of God the Bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight God will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah father I ask finally that everyone following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything that has made men mock God in your life I am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart I give you the next 13 days surprise them surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life surprise your accusers surprise everyone who knew you in the name of Jesus wave your hands to Jesus listen this is how men are made in the kingdom products of transfers spiritual transfers spiritual deposits something that was not in your life coming upon your life and creating a scene in your life that was not there never act like you don't know how it came it's by the spirit fellowship with the spirit fellowship with the spirit pray in the spirit and then you walk in those dimensions hallelujah thank you Jesus for that which you have done tonight much more than these teachings oh God invade the life of your people and cause them to know you in the name of Jesus Christ keep standing if you can very quickly there are people here your first encounter with the Holy Spirit tonight is as a convictor he's convicting you of sin of righteousness and of judgment there are people here who listening to me overflow one two three online and right here there are people here who are saying man of God I don't like the way my life is and I want to come to Jesus I want to run to him I want to start afresh please pay attention don't be busy let me have your attention this is a very important call there are others who are saying man of God I have responded to an altar call before but now 
I need to start afresh with God. I don't know how things went haywire in my life. But right now, I'm running to Him. In the next two minutes, if you belong to any of these categories, the Holy Spirit is already convicting you. I want you to run. Whether you are inside or outside, run quickly. Come and stand here. Quickly. The Holy Spirit is calling you. Are you coming? Quickly. Koinonia, celebrate them. If you are outside, run, 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 run. Follow any of the doors and make your way inside. Quickly. I didn't say walk. Please run. Our time is gone. Run. Like you are coming to receive an award. Run. Like your life is about to change. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. He's giving you a new beginning. Don't say they know me. That's nobody's business. This is an affair between you and the lover of your soul. There are still more people to come. Are you ashamed or are you rushing to come? Are you ashamed or are you rushing to come? Don't act like you're not hearing his voice. Those outside, make your way. Quickly, quickly, make your way. Join them if you're coming. Those of us here, I salute you. Some of you are making this decision for the first time. Some of you have made this decision before and your life just scattered and you are getting back to him. It doesn't matter what category. If you are joining them, please help this. Our mother, she's joining them. Make your way quickly. It doesn't matter what you have done. He's giving you a new beginning. When you stand here, lift your right hand and say it sincerely and truthfully. Make sure that you are making a decision that is genuine, not just an emotional decision. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. Tonight, I have heard your word. I need the Holy Spirit in my life. I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me, to cleanse me, give me a new beginning from today. I declare that my sins are forgiven. I declare that the life of God is in me. I'm a child of God. The Holy Spirit lives in me. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you preserve these ones. I decree and declare that guilt leaves your life. I decree and declare that condemnation leaves your life. From today, the Lord gives you a new beginning. I supply grace for you. To live a victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Now I want you to follow the lady waving her hands. You are quite many. Just coordinate yourselves and quickly follow that lady that would have a word or two with you outside and require that you, um, you just do one or two things. Your life will change forever in Jesus' name. Koinonia, let's honor God for them. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.